Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Dunk or Slam, and this is a very quick tutorial like video explaining how to install Noita together. Um, Solar is the guy who uh, programmed this multiplayer mod for Noita, and there's been a lot of people that had issues or intimidated with uh, with the uh, installing or the process of installing this mod. Um, so I figured we'll make a real quick video showing it, showing how simple it is. And uh, if you're having any issues with it, there should be some links in the description below, basically telling you where you can go, pointing you in the right direction to help you fix your problems. So let's go ahead and let's go through a quick installation and an overview of Noita together. So right off the bat, I'm going to actually show you guys my mods folder in Noita because I, I want to show you that there is nothing in here right now that says Noita together. You don't have to do anything involving your mods folder. All of that will get taken care of for you. But I just wanted to show you, like I said, preemptively, just to get you a look at it so you can see I have not touched it. There is no Noita together or anything. So uh, right off the bat, you go to the uh, the page for downloading Noita together. And uh, this will be linked uh, down in the description if you need it. And uh, just follow the how to install. It pretty much teaches you everything. There's not really a lot to it. It says download the latest release from release from here, which that's the page we were just on. And then it just says open the installer. It, it really is. It's pretty straightforward. So um, so the latest version, which uh, you can actually read right uh, here, it says what to download. Noita together setup blah blah blah, which is this one right here. It's just the plain .exe. None of this other stuff. We just want the plain .exe. So let's go ahead and click this. It downloads it, and then we just run it. And uh, this will pop up. You hit just more info. I'm on Windows 10. I guess it depends on uh, your settings and everything. But mine, you just basically want to be like run anyways. And it's gonna ask you. Uh, it's gonna ask you if you want to, you know, allow to this uh, this exe to make changes to your computer. So we're gonna hit install. Yes, all that kind of stuff goes through the whole process. It's real quick. It doesn't take too long. Uh, and then we're gonna hit run Noita together. And it's again, it's gonna start popping up. Do you want to let it make changes? You gotta hit yes, yes. The reason it's doing that, you'll see in a moment why it's doing that. And uh, right now it's installing the mod and everything it needs. So right now it's getting the mod installed. So so this is like a an app that runs alongside the client and the mod is actually running in Noita. So it's like two separate things kind of running together. Go ahead and hit continue. It's going to pop up again because it's trying to log you in now with your Twitch name. This is going to be the name that you're seeing uh, when you're playing multiplayer with other players. This is going to be your username. So it's going to be logged in with your twitch.tv username. So this uh, browser thing will pop up. Open Noita together. You have to hit yes again uh, to allow it to make changes, all that good stuff. And uh, here we go. We can see all the uh, the channels that are currently uh, here. Some ridiculous names in here. Um, you know, this is basically the channel name that you'll see people make. And then uh, this is the user who made the channel. And uh, these are how many people are, are in the channels. So I'll, I'll make a channel in one second so you guys can see that whole process. But just so you, you know, if you go to mods folder now, you'll see that uh, there should now be... Well, there should be... Maybe I need to re... Let me close it real fast. Oh, it's right at the bottom. What the heck am I talking about? I'm like, where is this? <laughs> right in front of my face. Um, okay, so whenever you go to click Noita together, because now it added it to your folder, uh, when you go to click it, it's going to say that you need uh, like to request uh, request extra privileges, all that stuff. So you just click over here where it said unsafe mods disabled. Go ahead and enable that. So Yes, now it says allowed. Then I can click this. Now Noita Together is going to be running both on my client side and I have the app going alongside it. That's the two steps. So, okay, so the, the mod is turned on. As you can see, we did here. We, we checked it. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, lobby. So you can name it whatever you want. Uh, I'll just put dunks, test, bid, whatever. And uh, this is this is the channel name that everybody's seeing over here. And then you, you don't have to add a password. You can if you would like to, if you want to restrict who can jump in. But if you choose to put no password, then just random people can hop in uh, into your game. So I'm going to go ahead and just password it real quick because we're making a video here and uh, create. And so if I did not have a password, you'd see every once in a while random people hop in. And uh, once the run is beginning, though, you usually want to lock the room. You don't have to do that, but if you don't lock it, then you could be 
45 minutes, an hour into a run, and people could join in. And that could kind of throw things off uh, depending on what your settings are for, for your run. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lock the room. It doesn't matter, Don't, no one knows that password anyways. I just hit the keyboard randomly. But um, okay, so it says no, re not ready, right? This is one thing that I see a lot of people asking. They're like, how do I ready up? You don't have to do anything here on the app if you're joining somebody else's channel. The only person that really has to do stuff on the app is the person that's considered the host. Now the host isn't truly hosting. It's not like you're running a server or anything. Uh, you've already connected to Solar server, which is running Noita together. That's the only connecting to a server that you do. The host, what makes a person a host is they simply get to set the rules of the run, which are different settings that you can do, and they can choose to set a seed for everybody, that kind of stuff. And they can also, they choose when the run starts. That's the only thing the host does. It's not like you're connecting to them. You don't have to do any port forwarding or any of that crazy stuff that you have to do sometimes when you run a, uh, a server, because in this case, you are not running a server. So let me go ahead and uh, get logged in because it says not ready. So clearly I haven't done everything I need to do. I need to hit start a new game with enabled mods active. So I just go ahead, hit a new game. It loads into the game. And uh, as you can see, my character standing here and I cannot control them. I have no control. That's because it's waiting for the host to hit start run. Nobody can move until you hit start run. But as you can see, it already says I'm ready to go. And I can also hover over the ready marker and it tells what mods I have currently on. That's important because people could run some ridiculous mods that affects gameplay, maybe something that makes them invincible and you don't want that, right? You want people playing legitimately. Uh, unless maybe you get you guys are doing some kind of crazy run. So then you would want the mods on. Uh, so if the, if the host changes the rules while you're sitting here, that's fine. The host can change the rules whenever they like, and it'll uh, it'll update for everyone that you don't have to do anything special. But if the host changes the seed number to so if you if you left it on the zero one, uh, it just defaulted, and everybody gets to play on their own seed. Uh, you know, it, you're not playing on the same seed. But if you hit random, now it does synchronize where you're all going to play on the same seed, and it'll actually kill me in game because it says the host changed the world seed. So it's basically I changed the rule saying that hey everybody needs to be on the same seed. And that's why all of a sudden I die there. So whenever I do that, uh, usually it'll unready. Uh, right now I think it's a little bit being a little bit goofy, but if you hit uh, new game, there we go. You'll notice that uh, the seed number in the bottom left, right here, one nine four two six seven blah 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 blah, is the same as this one one nine two four six seven. So that's how you know it's set it up. It, there, that's it. Like it, everything here is running. It's you're good to go. You're good to play. I mean, I, if, if other people were in here, I just said start run and we could start running around in game, all that good stuff. Uh, if, if people end up joining your run in the middle of your run, then uh, you'll have to like, let's say I unlock this, right? And I, I'm playing and random people are joining or maybe my friend joins late. Whenever they join, you got to wait till, for, uh, you know, it says ready on their username. And once it says ready, you'll probably, your friend will probably say, hey, I can't move or something like that. That's because it, it basically they are in the situation we were just in where we were waiting for the host to start the run. Well, all you have to do is hit start run again for that person that is frozen and it'll unfreeze them. And everybody else who's currently in the run will be fine and unaffected. So uh, yeah, there's everything for the basic installation of Noita together. If you're having any little uh, issues or problems that you're like, hey, I, I watched the video, I did exactly what you did and still I'm having issues. Uh, Solar actually sent me a message and here are the three things that he pointed out. Um, I guess I'll just read them out loud for you. But uh, if the browser doesn't open, uh, you can audit, uh, you can open the link manually. So what he means by this is earlier, whenever I run the app and it said link with twitch.tv because it's it's linking your Twitch account with Noita together, I clicked it, it automatically opened the browser and did everything for me. But if something happens and that's not automatically opening, here is the link that you can use. I'll put this in the description. Uh, I'll put this whole this whole message probably in the description in case you're 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 needing it. So it should be below the the the, the video here. If you just hit hit expand, you'll see this uh, information. Also, if your browser doesn't prompt you to open the link, it's because you need to be on a administrator uh, user account. So it means if you have multiple accounts, you may not be the admin on it. Uh, sometimes if you right click run as admin, that can solve that issue as well. So pretty much these two these two are the same like problem. Uh, and then if it says that there were errors initializing the following mods, Noita Together, then join the Noita Together Discord and read up the uh, read up the FAQ where it says what to do. So if you're curious where you can reach this Discord to to get to this FAQ, it is in the uh, the link here, which is 
linked below, uh, there's a Discord server. This is where I downloaded the EXE in the first place. And uh, right there's the uh, the Discord server and FAQ. Pretty much everything you need is on the, the main link here on the, uh, the the first link that I have linked below where you get the, the EXE. I think that should answer just about the, the general questions for Noita together and how to install it. I actually ended up being a longer video than I I wanted it to be, so uh, I'll go ahead and end it now. If you have any questions, though, post them below. And if there's anything else that I feel needs to be added that I forgot to explain, I will add it to the description on this video. So uh, hope hopefully you guys enjoy it and also expect more updates from Solar in the future. So if some of your settings look a little bit different from mine, it's because the mod is getting updates. So I, I don't know what it'll look like, you know, a couple months from now. But this general... Uh, description or, or, or you know how to install should still work for everybody so enjoy later guys